Hello, welcome back! We're last episode. I fought my friends in a very unconventional practical exam. We're having quite a few of those. And I destroyed them. Naturally. And now we know where we're going for our next field study. And I'm... Uh, besides Milliam, who I believe I took with me to the old schoolhouse, everyone else is pretty significantly underleveled. It's okay, that'll catch up. So first, what I want to do... Is watch this cutscene. No, it didn't do a cutscene. Alright, it just took a while to load. Um... The plan is not to go to the station, but instead to go... To the academy, where I can go to the engineering building. What the heck are Machias and Fee doing in the engineering building? No, it's not Fee, it's Crow. Alright. I need your help. So this will be Grow's first field study with class 7, huh? That's actually kind of funny. How so? I told you that we were part of the Arcus trials last year, didn't I? A lot of stuff we did back then actually served as, as a model for class 7. So we had our own field studies of sorts. <laughs> Instructor Sarah was, uh, was always putting us through one hellish situation after another. But... That's how we all got to know each other, too. Wow. That explains things. <laughs> that makes you four more uh, our predecessors, in a way. Well, it's more than just a coincidence that they put this guy into your class. Be sure to make yourself useful, you hear? <laughs> For our sake, at least. We'd hate to see you make a fool of yourself and ruin our star uh, sterling reputation. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All this pressure you're putting on me is gonna give me wrinkles or something. <laughs> we better work every bit as hard as he does. Um, yes, thank you. You can actually do this. Shop the exchange. All of the Sepith masses. Which is 5, 1, oh, 4. That is excellent. Um... I have amassed a collection, and it will belong to you. Wait, there we go. So, just 1,000. Let's do, um, let's do a whole 900. Yes, that will suffice. Whole one, oops, whole 1,000. Mmm, whole 400. 500. Mmm... Ah, just 100. And a whole 700. Exchange Blizz. Wait. Was I yes? Exchange the Sepith for... Yes. Oh! Oh, I don't know if that's the most I've had, but it's pretty damn close. I'm pretty sure it was. Um... Oh, you only have an EP charge too? Um, let's see how much that, that nets me. Hmm. I'll take five. Lovely doing business with you to the school. Wait, no, student union building. That's where all the things are. Uh, student union building. Hello. We're going on a field study. Please sell me some shit. Um. Huh. So I'll see your stuff in here now. Oh, uh, I don't have Crow with me. Okay. So. Two people benefit from that. Actually, no, three. Three if I count Elliot. Four, five. Okay, so five. So I need five of these. That's... that's where my mind went. Uh, okay... Who will benefit from this? Million will. So that was definitely useful. Uh, I can buy Celestial Bombs now! Neat! Oh, so good! Um, how many can I get? That is a hefty price. Uh, just for two. How many do I have? I only have... I have none. I have none of these. 
So I will be getting three. Uh, well, whoa, what was that? Imperial Chronicle. Neat. Um, uh, I don't want to read that again. <laughs> it was a lot of reading. So much reading. I have 43. I didn't need the amount I bought. Oh, well, I guess that's a good thing then. <laughs> that I have them now. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm making discoveries today. Let's go to destiny to the train station after I apply my equipment. My equipment. Uh, the new thing. Right. I'm giving this to Laura, aren't I? Uh, this one goes to Milliam. Um, you already you already have it. You already have it. And you as well already have it. So that's fine. Can't give it to anyone else because they aren't in my party. I mean, like, I could just whisk it away to them through the magical art of teleportation, but... That wouldn't be realistic at all. Now to super speed into the train set. Whoops. Yes. I have places to go, people to see. Ooh. We need to change trains to Berea hard to get to Lagram, right? I suppose that'd be better uh, for us to take the cruising main line than the transcontinental line then. Right after reaching Brehard, we'll need to transfer to a local line, the Ebel Branch Line. There's only one train every two hours, so I'm hoping we can time our travel or our arrival to avoid a lengthy wait. It's exactly 7 a.m. right now. We should arrive in Brehard somewhere around 10:30 and reach Lagram by noon. We've got work waiting for us the first day too. So the earlier we can reach Legram, the better. Agreed. And there's always the chance our class problem child will make another scene. <laughs> Friends. Oh! You guys are here earlier than I expected. You all ready to leave too? Nah. We've still got another 20 minutes or so until the next train to Barahard comes in. You're all going to the... Jure S E Z, right? I've never been, but it sounds kind of fun. Uh, it's apparently quite a trip to get there, though. It's on the Empire's northwest coast. You have to cross the entire Lamar, uh, Lamar province to get there. Well, it's not often you get to go to a, go on a nice long trip like this. But worry not. The hours will just fly by as I teach you all how to be as cool and popular as I am. Yeah, thanks, but I think I'll just take a nap instead. <laughs> Way to shoot Crow down. Passenger ro or bleh, passenger service bound for Heimdall, now arriving on platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. We'll see you in two days, then. See you at Garalia Fortress. Bye. Have a safe trip. See you later, Elliot. Later, Machius. And Crow, at least make a token attempt to stay out of trouble. No worries. If you hear about it, it means I wasn't on top of my game. One of these days, Reen, you'll th uh, thirst for my life of adventure. Right. All right. Good luck, guys. Try not to, you know, drive everyone crazy for the next two days. Okie dokie. Why do I not find that the slightest bit reassuring? You took the words right out of my mouth. May the guidance of the winds and the goddess, goddess be with you all. I look forward to seeing you again in two days, the multiple goddesses. All the goddesses give you their blessing. And then there were six. We still have a short while longer before our train arrives. 
We ought to purchase our tickets now while we're uh, waiting. Wait, did I count wrong? Are there six? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> I counted right. Yay. All right. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Group A is headed to Legram, correct? Yes, that's right. We'd like to purchase tickets to Legram via Bryhard. Coming right up. Do you want them right away? And with fries? Uh, buy the tickets. Okay, so that's six passengers bound for Legram via Bryhard. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Oh, you're all heading out? What? Hello. Isn't that... Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Shh, whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he? Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... <laughs> so he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who specializes in espionage. Did I just see that right? There was a cat. There was the same cat. Celine, I believe. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. Uh, okay. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. What kind of little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public? Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Passenger service bound for Heindahl. Now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Oh, sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. Is he going to the trade conference in Crossbell? You'd better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell! Into the void. <laughs> Further into the void was Celine on top of the train. I could have swore I saw something. <laughs> They seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on. Cough it up. They don't call you the Purple Lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah, Strictly business, huh? Obviously. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. 
Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City, but there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. Well, that's more than a little bit concerning. Of course, they picked the optimal time to attack Crossbell during the trade conference. And just a leisurely drain ride. Nothing bad could happen. Wow! It's like a sea of green out there. Hey, Eusis, why is the wheat all green? Wheat? Barely. And rye are all... Wait, barley! Jeez. Hmm. Wheat, barley, and rye are all cultivated in the cruising province. It's just grown in its season. Which means that what you're seeing right now is the fall wheat crop. Oh, look! There's a weird scarecrow! <laughs> look at its head! It looks like- it looks all messy like Lecter's. Uh... Well, well as long as she's enjoying herself. <laughs> At times like these, she seems just like any girl her age. It's still hard to believe she's only 13. That's a year younger than my brother. It really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? I suppose this is as good a time as any to tell you more about where we Well, that, that was me transitioning into a yawn. It never happened, but my voice still screwed up all the same. Might as well have happened. Anyways, I suppose this is as good a time as any to tell you more about where we'll be conducting our next field study. Ooh, pretty. The Gram is a small town in the southeast... Yes, in the southeast of the Empire, situated on the shore of Lake Ebel. My father, uh, Viscount Arsade, governs the town, which itself is part of the Corusian province. Ooh, will we get to meet him? That sounds familiar. If I'm not mistaken, is that the province Jesus' father oversees? Well, technically yes, but Lagram is known for being a particularly self-reliant re region. I doubt the Viscount has much interest in the authority of his liege lord. I suppose I cannot deny it. My father can be a little too free-spirited at times. Oh, and I extra want to meet him. But I can't help but feel your father's governance has its own issues, especially where taxation is concerned. Glare. Humph. <laughs> it's not as though I'm aware unaware of that. Well, in fact, we dealt with it in Celtic, so... Um... Sorry, I seem to have touched on a sensitive issue here. No, there's nothing for you to apologize for. Exchanges like these are the daily bread of the nobility. It's true that the four great houses do have immense power, but it's still up to the individual f uh, feudal lords to govern their respective regions. And as far as taxation goes, each region has its own uh, stations, which makes the whole situation even more complicated. It is quite convoluted. Although the imperial government does seem to be attempting to unify all regions under a single tax system, that's one of the major points of dispute between the two factions. Incidentally, my father's stance on the matter is, Hell will freeze over before I consent to it. I do understand the reformists' point of view, but each region of the Empire has its own traditions and customs. Attempting to normalize all of, the, all of these under a single system seems a little insensitive. Hmm. The more you tell me, the more complicated it sounds. Well, it's certainly not an issue with a nice, clear-cut so solution. This is boring! Don't you have any more cool stories about Legram? <laughs> I suppose a couple uh, students batting around ideas about taxation isn't going to really solve anything. 
But, I guess, to me, one of the things LeGram is most famous for is the Arsade School. Oh, isn't that the thing Laura's dad teaches? And that's the one. The Arsade School of Swordsmanship is a style passed down by the ancient Knights of Erebonia. It's one of the two most famous martial uh, styles in the Empire. The other being the Van uh, Vander School. I've heard there's a training hall where students of the Arsade School come from all over the Empire to train. Indeed, there is. Several students of the school uh, are studying in the Gram at the moment. The rest are scattered throughout the Empire. And Laura's father instructs them all? He does. Miss Count Arsade is not only a, the Lord of the Gram, he's also the current head of the Arsade School. Oh, oh! Doesn't he have some ma uh, some super cool title like the Radiant Blade Master or something? He sounds crazy strong! This may sound unseeming, uh, unseemly coming from his daughter, but his strength is, quite frankly, inhuman. I would easily place him among the three strongest people in the Empire. He sounds like an incredible guy. I've heard plenty of rumors about his strength myself. From what I understand, he acts as a combat instructor for this nation's armies, both provincial and imperial. Though, as a result, I hear he sin or yeah, he spends a significant amount of time away from his territory. That is unfortunately the case. We may be visiting my home, but there's no guarantee that my father will even be there. I see. That's a shame. I'd really like to meet him. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll start by talking to Laura. Oh, yes. When we reach Legar Legram, I'd like to ask a favor of you all. A favor? I was hoping it would be possible for you to show your respects, uh, your respective styles to the Arsade school students. This group has practitioners, uh, practitioners of the Eighth Leaves One Blade School, uh, court fencing, and spearmanship alike. And I have no doubt each would be of interest to students of the martial arts. Hmm, perhaps so. The chance to learn more about other schools might broaden our own horizons, too. Are you sure my spearmanship uh, would be of interest to them, though? Both Reen- Whoa, that came out weird. Both Reen and Eustace at least use swords. Certainly, the Arsade School teaches more than just swordplay. While some use two-handed swords, like myself, others use spears and even bows. Perhaps even Emma's orbital staff may be of interest. It, you think? Hey, what about me? What about- or, yeah. What about me? What about me? Lammy's really strong, too. True, but it's just raw strength. There's no skill or technique involved. I concur. Watching your Gatlam wouldn't afford the students any chance to learn new techniques of their own. Boo. Shoo meanies. No fair leaving me out. <laughs> anyway, I do think that would be a nice gesture, but... That's assuming we get the chance before our field study is over. Of course. I look forward to it, if we do. Let's talk to Emma next. Lavender. Surely it's just coincidence. It has to be. What's wrong, Emma? Are you getting motion sickness or something? N no, I'm fine. I was just wondering if we might be able to see Lagram or Lohengrin Castle while we're here in Lagram. Oh, the castle that came up in Instructor Thomas's uh, lesson the other day? Weather permitted, it can be seen quite clearly. It's surrounded by mist more often than not, but such imagery has its own appeal as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty neat. Yeah, it does. I was just thinking, it'd be nice if we could... Apply some of the knowledge we learned in class to our field study, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, that would be. Uh, let's go talk to Eustace. We still have some time before we reach Brayhard, but we'll be changing trains as soon as we arrive, so make sure you're ready. I will be though. It's a shame we won't be able to. We won't have time to stick around for a while. I would have liked to see Rufus again if we had the chance. I'm sure he's much too busy for that anyway. And it's hardly seen appropriate to return home now, 
after I chose not to during the summer. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> is something on your mind? I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering what my family and the other nobles are doing at the moment. This past month, they've been a little overly quiet. Now that you mention it, I haven't heard of any major conflicts between the two factions lately after all. Or at all. Hmm. Maybe they're just showing some re... Restraint? For a while? After all, the craziness that happened at the festival last month. Either faction is considerate enough to avoid conflict over something so trite. I suppose I should just try to focus on our field study and not concern myself with matters beyond my control. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Well, after I save real quick, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press the little subscribe button. It helps out a lot. And if you like this video specifically, please like and share this video. Next time, I'm going to see... Uh, I'm going to talk to guys and Milliam, and then play a little game of Blade, and probably lose, because I suck at that game. And then we will see what happens next. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.